Hi, everybody. Time for 10 Minute Technology Tuesday. This week's session is going to be on using a filter for usage rights so you have the proper picture or proper usage right for pictures. So I'm going to go into uh, Google and I'm going to type in heart picture. When I type in heart picture, I get all kinds of different images. I'll check choose images so I don't have just the websites. These are all kind of images but I don't know if they're licensed for reuse or not and as a teacher we should probably be using things that are licensed for reuse. Well how do you find that out? Well up here in the search bar I'm going to choose search tools, usage right, and then here I have five different choices. The one I see right now are not filtered here is labeled for use, reuse with modifications. That means I could take one of these hearts maybe and um, if I didn't want the pink on the inside I could use a uh, blue on the inside. So it's uh, reuse with modification. This one's just labeled for reuse, no modifications. And these two uh, labeled for reuse and reuse with modifications, non-commercial. I'm not positive. I think that's probably more a personal nature. But as teachers, I think these are the ones that we really need to be working on as I get my parent newsletter ready home to go home and want to put a heart on it. I want to be able to have it licensed so it's able to be reused. So here are the pictures right now that I see with no filter on it. If I choose right here, label for reuse and modifications, I get a whole bunch of different pictures or at least filtered pictures. These are the ones that I could I use now in my documentation and know that it is licensed for reuse and I'm not uh, jeopardizing any kind of copyright. I'll go back to search tools, label for use, I'll go to the non-filtered one again, scroll through those, and one more time to make sure that I have a licensed version of some picture that I'm going to put on a documentation. I go to search tools. And by the way, I could also search by size, color, type, and by the time. But our focus today is on usage right. And I probably as a teacher want to do label for reuse with modification. And there you have it. Filtered system for Google pictures or images. Make sure you use it. Have a good day.